Recording by Avai in February 2017. Secrecy or The Ruin on the Rock by Eliza Fenwick. Volume 3, Letter 34. From Carolyn Ashburn to Lady Barlow. Dear Madam, by a strange concurrence of accidents, I am at present attending Mr. Murden, who, during many days, has lain dangerously ill in a small country in nine miles from Valmont Castle. I must leave it to your prudence to acquaint Sir Thomas Barlow, to whom I know it will be most distressing tidings, that his nephew is in danger, but it is necessary that Sir Thomas should know it immediately, for I have made preparations for bringing Mr. Murden to London, that he may have better accommodation and better advice. Though I speak of advice, I dare not encourage any hope in Sir Thomas, for I have watched the progress of his nephew's disorder, and I believe he is only lingering, abide he cannot. Sir Thomas Barlow loved this young man as a son, and, to receive him, scarcely a shadow of his former self, will create distressing emotions. Yet I beseech you to urge Sir Thomas carefully to avoid any strong expressions of sorrow when his nephew arrives, for I have the grief to tell you that Mr. Murden's reason is shaken, and dreadful paroxysms may follow the slightest agitation. Not but the power I have long laboured to obtain and have in part obtained over my sensations could have preserved any degree of fortitude in me under the most trying events of my life, events which have lately befallen Miss Valmont and Mr. Murden. On them I had bestowed the warmest tribute of my affections. In the enjoyment of their virtues and happiness I expected daily to augment my own. But, alas, it is gone, and my wretched hopes still wear their beautiful and alluring form while sinking in disappointment. I am aware, madam, that Mr. Murden's misfortune cannot create more concern in your breast than the circumstance of my being with him will raise wonder and curiosity, nor have I any other than a full intention of making you acquainted with the circumstances that drew us both hither, whose sad termination has operated so fatally on Mr. Murden. But I am obliged to defer the relation till our arrival in town, both on account of its length, of the preparations I am making for Mr. Murden's ease and safety on the journey, and the continual anxiety of watchfulness which possesses me for the sake of Miss Valmont, to whom I have been unhappily the cause of evils possibly worse than that which has befallen Mr. Murden. I cannot name the day when you and Sir Thomas may expect us, for the time consumed in the journey must be regulated by the abatement or increase of Mr. Murden's disorder. He shall travel in a litter, and I hope it is unnecessary for me to assure Sir Thomas nothing shall be wanting to his accommodation that I have means to procure. I remain your ladyship's well-wisher and servant, Caroline Ashburn. End of section 75